welcome to my channel um, I hope you're all having a very great day um, If you're new here, my name is Teresa and I am documenting my knitting journey here on YouTube um, And this week I actually wanted to do a uh, another video Where I was using my scrap yarn and um, making things out of it but when I was editing it I thought mm, this is not it <laughs> so I'm gonna do this instead and uh, this is gonna be a, a little bit of a vlog type of video I can show you something I made for the other video I don't know if it's nice because I did have some scrap yarn uh, that was velvet I don't think they sell it anymore because it is very bad quality but I made this crunchy uh, with it which is kind of cute but also it feels a little bit weird <laughs> um, so yeah but uh, one exciting thing that I actually can show you I just got a yarn mill because um, I was working I was trying to finish my Ingrid sweater and um, I actually have to do like such a little part of the ribbing and the cast off of the body I can show you a little bit like it's almost done but um, yeah I just have to do a little bit of the ribbing and uh, the body is also not cast off yet um, so I uh, ordered some new yarn and when I was on the website I actually saw some more yarn that I really liked so I bought two more bowls and I will Okay, so the first thing that I bought is an extra bowl for the Ingrid sweater. I'm using a Drops Merino Extra Fine for it. And um, I bought two little skeins uh, of sock yarn. Uh, oh, I'm in love with this one. It's a little speckled yarn. And... Um, I want to do another pair of socks from the 52 weeks of socks book uh, with it um, I also bought this uh, pastel one I'm not sure how this will turn out I think it is uh, self striping for, for a bit as I can see on the cover I don't know if you can see how it's supposed to be but um, I feel like it should be cute I have to swatch it uh, before I can have a, a real opinion uh, about it but uh, for now it's uh, it looks really fun so yeah now that I finally have my skein I can finally finish my Ingrid sweater um, it's still very hot I feel like I'm saying this every day here so uh, I may be uh, going on the balcony to film there uh, a little bit and uh, finish my Ingrid sweater uh, and after that I will block it and then uh, with this weather I feel like tomorrow it will be dry and done sweater on it's not blocked yet so it's really tight and it looks really small but it looks like this and I hope with blocking I hope with blocking it will stretch a bit like this and like this it is really stretchy wool so I hope it will work but yeah we'll have to see Fingers crossed.
today is actually Sunday morning and um, I have a bit of bad news <laughs> uh, the Ingrid sweater actually is not uh, dry yet um, I feel like it because it was 30 degrees uh, Celsius that it would be dry so quick but it's not um, it was soaking wet when I put it to dry and um, it's now I feel like it's damp so um, so when we, uh, at the end of today it will be uh, fully dry but then uh, this video will already be edited and up so um, I think I will show the finished uh, product on my Instagram yeah I will just do a, a little photo shoot of the sweater when it's on so if you want to check it out you can check it out here I'll put my handle here yeah, so that's uh, on the Ingrid sweater. And other, another thing that I actually did this week is I learned myself how to do continental, how to knit continental. And I did a swatch for the sweater number 14, uh, the V-neck version. Yeah, I have the swatch here, I will show it. I don't know if you can really truly see it because it is in gray and gray stitches don't really turn up that uh, visible, I feel like. But I'll show you. Um, I knitted it in uh, these two. So in Kit Silk, uh, Drops Kit Silk and Drops Lima. And um, yeah, I think it will be very cozy. It's very soft. I feel like my tension with Knitting Continental is all over the place still. So I have to practice it a little bit more um, to get the right tension all over. But for now, I'm really happy that I learned something new <laughs> and uh, I can't wait to uh, to try it out. Another thing is um, I made the mistake of buying new yarn <laughs> because when I was on the yarn site, um, I saw so many new uh, cool yarns that I thought, oh, it would be perfect. It would be perfect for this project and that one would, that one would be perfect for that project. Um, I did not keep in mind that I don't even have a job at the moment, so I can't be spending uh, lots of money on all that yarn at once. So, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna buy one um, for I'm gonna buy yarn for one project, which is the which is the Pamela bag. I will try to find the yarn to put it somewhere here, so you know uh, which one. I which yarn I have in mind. It is pretty cool. I can already see the finished project in my mind and it's beautiful. <laughs> um, also, one other thing, I can't believe I missed it, but uh, Camisol number eight is out. And when I saw it, I have to say I fell in love and I still am in love. Um, my favorite things knitwear has so many beautiful stuff and I, uh, I made it sweater number 15 already which has the same kind of cabled pattern and it is my favorite sweater until now uh, we'll have to see how the Ingrid sweater turns out because they it might have a, a shared um, first place but then I saw the uh, camisole number eight and I thought wow I need to have this and I need to have it now <laughs> in my wardrobe as soon as possible but also still like why are you um what are you gonna buy so much yarn for it is ridiculous but uh yeah i slept on it for a bit and i still want to do it so i think i'm gonna go to the Stephen and penelope store uh, today to check out their knitting for olive yarn uh, i think i want to buy like a uh, a little bit of a brownish, a dark brownish color, a bit of a neutral vibe. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna do it. If they don't have it, maybe I will think about it again and maybe I'll do it, uh, order it online. But I feel like I need to have it. I felt like such an attraction to it and I feel like I'm gonna look so good in it. So um, yeah, we'll have to do it. But yeah, I will keep you updated, uh, I think. In a week or maybe two weeks there's a podcast again so it will probably turn up in the podcast um, yeah so I think that is actually it for this vlog yeah check out the Ingrid sweater on my Instagram it will be up I think today or tomorrow uh, if you want to see how it turned out 
yeah and uh, I don't have anything else to say I think so um, yeah thank you for watching if you made it this far and uh, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I hope to see you next time